Excellent. So I want to ask you what what are okay what are your favorite bioregulators and favorite you know other peptides? Um, so my favorite bio. So I you know I should say that I've taken them all because I'm in a clinical trial and you know I'm I'm working on reducing that biological age. So mm-hmm. I cycle through all the bioregulators month to month to month. Um, but I you know and. People have asked me, and so I would say my my desert island bioregulator. If I only can have one, it would be the apitalon. Okay. Um, if I could have two, I would probably pick apitalon with the thymus bioregulator because then it would be the pineal gland and the thymus gland, so immunity and pineal. And then if I only had three, then I would probably add the blood vessel bioregulator. But that's me, right? I think I think apitalon should be. It, and epitalon is the central pillar of almost every protocol, as well as the blood vessel bioregulator. Mm-hmm. And the reason for that is blood vessel, if you think about it, if you don't have good circulation, you, you're not going to get nutrients to the cell. You're not going to get waste products out of the cell. It kind of makes sense that it would be an anchor. But after that, it kind of depends. Like if a person has liver issues or heart issues or, you know, or, I, there's actually, there's another one called Cartilax, which is a cartilage bioregulator, but what it does is it upregulates the production of collagen and elastin. Well, mm-hmm. you know, I'm at a point where my bones, you know, are going to be under, under pressure. So I'm going to use Cartilax to help because healthy bones are flexible, right? And also I'd like my skin to have access to collagen and elastin. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so it's, you know, it's a little bit like being asked, what's your favorite child? You're kind of like, well, you know, I kind of can't pick a favorite, but, you know, push comes to shove, epitalon, thymus, and and blood vessel would be the three. And then on the peptide side, I, you know, I'm a bit limited because I can't use TB4 or CJC epimorelin. I think if I could, they would be at the top of the list. But BPC-157 for me, because it's so versatile and it does so many things, mm-hmm. if, it, if, I, if I could only have one peptide, it would be that one. Mm-hmm. And then I think the next one, oh, I don't know, maybe it could be thymus and alpha-1 or it could be GHK. It's kind of hard to decide between the two of those. Yeah. GHK is almost a bioregulator. <laughs> it's it's borderline, right? It's only three amino acids. It acts on the on the DNA. It does like all these different things, like, you know, it, it even has brain benefits. It's mm-hmm. right. It's yeah. it, if you have an injury, it helps with to reduce scarring. It's like good for skin. It's, yeah. it's just, it's a little bit nutty. All the things that that little tiny peptide can do. Yeah. 